Welcome back guys We have another bro panga set It's gonna be Sayori vs Olint Olint I'm familiar with Sayori is a new name to me I'm not entirely sure Either way Oh one second scoreboard uh, There we go it's all good Oh shit, it's a Karen. No, it's not. She has a Karen profile pic, but she for his again. <laughs> God damn it. Okay, I got baited. Okay. I'm not gonna lie, I rushed to, sc to uh, stream this. Because I thought I was streaming. I thought I was streaming a Karen. Oh well. More for me. God damn it. Why don't any of you play Karen? Wait there. There's definitely one player who plays Karen. Sulfiora plays Karen. So I need to stream Sulfiora at some point. She switched from Karen to Ken. Man, what a downgrade. <laughs> well, I can root for a Ken. I definitely don't want to root for G, so. I'd say we're rooting for Ken on this one. Round one. Fight. Straight away with DP. Actually, you know what I did? I watched Sayori's first set. And I know because of that opening DP. Let's see if she can overcome the G. Classic robbery character. Ken's honest, I think. No, it's not really. Damn. Dominating pressure on there for a moment, though. Round two. Fight. Just walks into that dash punch, unfortunate. Blocks the full target combo, no punish, though. Sayori not really respecting the pressure, trying to jump out. Oh, gets command grab. Chooses to go for the charge over the damage. Gets DP for his trolls, loses it straight away. I need to close Gumu Crows to make Sakurai's. 355 does not like it when Crown is open, so. Should be better. Yeah, I'm not sure what Olint went on his first week. I do know Sayori. I think she lost against Rollback George. It was a Bison, I believe. Anyway, Olin taking that first game. I need to uh, check these scores to be honest on the Bro Panga page. I want to see where everyone's at. Uh, I'm going to start streaming more games this week. Might have been close enough to punish that fireball. Ooh, goes to the back medium, but doesn't confirm it. Oh no. Probably thinking that tattoo would have been close enough. Actually, that tattoo whiffs on um, couches, my bad. Nice air to though. Again, the jump in, no. Anti air, there we go. Finally get the anti air out of our mind. Ooh, eats the overhead. Damage, nice. Ooh, that fully blocked hard combo again, it's fireball, definitely punishable. Got a jab, but didn't really get much more. Against Ken, you really can't be letting them get away with that. Fireball is so punishable up close. And here comes the robbery. We get one more. Just decide to spend it. Oh, doesn't defend that medium punch. Unfortunate. It's a lot of jumping. Nice activation. Oh! 
This will with dead? Nice. I'm not really sure what that why you would go for CA there to be honest. GCA is an amazing CA to chip out with but that was nowhere near chip range to be honest. Nice no, anti the reskill. So Fiora, you play Karen right? Because I need to stream on your set at one point because I want to stream with Karen player. <laughs> there are no Karens. I got baited, I thought Sayori was a Karen player, which is Ken me. Oh god damn it, so Are there no Karens left? I can't believe Karen is top tier this season, like majorly top tier this season. And there are almost no Karen mates in this Discord. Oh sorry, Cross. If I'd known I would have just streamed it on my channel to be honest. It's fireball. Again, again, these stray mediums will not get them into anything. There's a lot of damage being left on the board here. Oh no! Wheel kick, so good. Trace the fireball. Didn't know what she was mashing. Nice, wake up bombs. Gotta get your mates on points. Oh, the jump heavy punch is just too early. Oh, that command grab is. Yeah, you've got to punish that. That command grab has hella recovery frames. You have all day to punish it. CA? Yeah, that should do it. Man. Gia's O D. 2-0, 2-0 So I can definitely get back into this, she's got a tight all. Some of her punishes would be nice. She's not DPing as much anymore as she was in that first set in the first week. It's good to see. Damn, that wheel kick so aggravating when you just want to tiptoe forward. It is punishable, minus five at certain ranges. Wow, the EX that to the corner. Whatever, we take those. Nice activation. Nice throw as well. Corners herself more. Gets the combo. Oh no, anti again. Oh, Lens needs to tighten up his anti -air just a little bit. He does have them, but definitely not consistent enough at the minute. Ooh, wow, gets away with that. Challenging after the V trigger fireball. Oh, that's rough. That's rough for Sayori there. Olin definitely took the rest there to get that activation. That was nice. Block sweep, no punish. Damn, nice for chance. It doesn't get the DP though. Oh, it gets that back medium punch again, not confirmed into anything. Just a lot of medium punches the minute like hitting, but not going into anything. There we go, finally. Count nice count taken version. Oh wow, actually gets away with that EFTP. Nice anti up the still again. Not much damage, so it's such a good hitbox. Yeah, cross moon is a literal trial. I always forget that. 16. The fuck? Padu Mark 2. I'm there with it. Wins. 
three of her lens. I am a, I am literally a boomer, what the fuck? I forgot my age yesterday. I thought I was 27. I'm not. I'm 26. But that's how old I am. I forget. I'm getting, you know, senile in my old age. Anyway, back to the game. Nice you stab his hill. So can't jump in on Jay if he has that one point. God damn, that wheel kick keeping you in the corner. Oh, the optimal punish as well in the DP. Gets the jump in punish. So Owen does know his punishes. She's got to be more consistent. Nice again. And it, that's punishable. Oh, it doesn't get it though. Does get the throw to close it out. Yeah, that EXDP V trigger cancel is minus 5, I believe. It might even be minus 6, actually. Actually, it might be more than that. All I know is I'd punish it with crowd trading punch. And Karen's crowd trading punch is 5 for 6 frames. 6 frames. What are you doing there, Olin? The disrespect to charge right inside of his face. Nice, push on ten. Oh, no conversion. I, I don't do the maths. Well, I do the maths by going, current medium punch is 5 frame, and if I can punish that, then it's at least minus 5. I don't know the exact specifics. I just know it's at least minus 5. Oh man, the XDP is coming out now. I think she heard me mentioning it. Oh no. Disrespects the frame trap. Tries to just walk or jump, I guess. G. G. Sorry, I went 4 0. Minus seven, thank you very much, then sorry. Ooh, that wheel kick again. It's so annoying to punish. One of those, minus five, but at that range, for example, you just can't do anything about it. Oh, thank you. I'm glad I have you here to tell me frame data because I don't fucking know. <laughs> I know Karen data, not to matter. Ooh, hits him in the um, V skill activation. Start up, sorry. Can't afford to make one more wrong guess. Oh no, goes to the tattoo. You definitely could have gone for DP there. Now with the word. Unfortunate. Uh, getting away with these jumps. Especially after buttons like back heavy punch. Definitely on plus enough to be jumping there. Oh, so many whiff buttons. I'd love to see a whiff on from Sayori. Even if it's just, you know, throw out that stand heavy punch. Or the stand heavy kick. My sweep is minus four. <laughs> you do that first, you. Ah! That was so smart. I mean, not really, because G had V-Trigger, so he definitely could have been reversal. So I didn't, but it was kind of smart. Let's put it that way. It was 50% smart. If you know your opponent isn't going to be reversal, she may as well have just gone for the uh, raw, the raw activation. Or whatever. We take those. Nice. 
Hey, young CP. Ah, not confirming that back medium punch. I know it's really hard to confirm, but maybe take a risk. We haven't seen only punish the full target combo yet, so I think you could you could get away with it. No, don't listen to me. Actually, that's a bad habit to just be doing it to guess confirming. That's how you end up like me, stuck in black, can't confirm, low forward. You just guess, confirm everything. Nice, no, used that wheel kick. You can't jump out the corner, there's G. It's good to use these buttons just to basically bully Sayori. Oh, Lint's not getting whiff on the Shorten to be honest, so it's like. You can kind of just throw them out with impunity. G's ones are quite slow, so whiff punishing is a risk. Literally, if your opponent is really doing it. You're not really seeing Sayori throw out those buffers, to be honest. It's something I would like to see from, from this can. That's Senza. This one, it's all mascots. No, missed the munish that time, though. Nice, gets them run up, though. About changing kick, as we all know. Doesn't really like to combo into fireball in this game. Which is unfortunate. Definitely punishable at that range. Got to punish wheel kick when it's point blank. Nice crush counter and good conversion. Gets the activation. Oh, nice overhead. Can you get the stun? Yes, you can't press after that. Oh, no. Oh, the. Yeah. Just bet it all on the SDP. Why not? Final round. I know his beard makes me jealous, to be honest, I'm quite envious. Senza is rather good looking and he's quite fashionable as well. Mm. Nice, Santia. So I really find it quite difficult to get out of the corner of this, so Lintz. Been kind of a problem all set. Nice airtwear. Obviously, Sayori's airtwear have been pretty on point. Oh, no anti air there, though. As good as other airtwear as I've been, I would like to see more just conventional anti airs, to be honest. Six zero. We'll take it to the set point. Keep saying they take it to six to set point when they get to six games. But set point would technically be the second round after after you've won the first round. Want to make it? It's gotta be like proper tennis umpire, I can't be saying it wrong. Anyway, where we at? Nice air to air again from Sayori. Just air to air jump heavy punches. Definitely one of the uh one of the bright spots in that game. There we go, nice anti air into the cross under as well. More of that, please. Oh, that was unfortunate. Get jumped on. I'll throw in five ball. Nice, wake up DP into the activation. Keeps herself plus with the five ball. Oh, you just gotta hold this now, unfortunately. No command grab. No, still gotta hold it. Now you can do something. Oh, goes over. Minus two. Minus two. Definitely overlay could press the button. Ah, oh, jumped on for five all again. That's rough. Feel like 
rid of two fireballs in neutral. Both times I jump. Hmm. Not punishing the uh, dash straight there. Definitely shouldn't be letting him take his turn after the back heavy punch. Sorry, forward heavy punch. I forget which ones are which on G to be honest. I haven't played this card in so long. This, the spin knuckle thing he does. I feel like that's on heavy punch. Forward heavy punch is the way he fists the air. Oh, cliff by that wheel kick. See if Sayori can fight away out of the corner this time. Nice activation. Nice knockdown as well. Those guys have out the corner. Nice throw bait. Good tech out of Olin though. I wonder if Sayori could uh, get onto the fact that was a late tech. I'd like to see a sh No! Don't even need a shimmy. Just crush counter on wake up. I would like to see Sayori go for a shimmy now, yeah. Now that we've seen the Olin just a little later. Ken definitely not renowned for his shimmies, but every character in this game has shimmies to some degree. <laughs> yeah, sorry, that's why I'm platinum. I press buttons when Ken is minus two. Don't shame me. <laughs> nice tech. I definitely wouldn't have sat there to be honest. Yeah, X5 ball. Keeps pressing after that. Yeah, X5 ball. She's plus. And then that was another delay tech as well. Sayori. Someone teach her there, Sayori, some shimmies. Oh, no conversion. See if that oh that was a shimmy. If Sayori had Jimmy, she could she'd win this. Start to a chip, you're dead. You're dead. Ah, uh, That chip is it's rough. It's really rough. That was 7 0, but it wasn't a wash by any means. Sayori definitely did herself proud there, to be honest. But so did Olint. So well done to both players. That was <laughs> that was a fun set. Well done to both guys. Uh, I believe Cross Moon is going to be doing a set just after me. So stay tuned, guys. Keep your eye on the Rope Hanger EU channel. And uh, I think Cross Moon will be posting the link in there any minute now. GGs, guys. See you around. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand.